launching a new full-length album, or maybe you're a podcaster looking to grow reach. Either way, I'm sure you'd want to share your material on social media to draw more listeners apart from your loyal followers. As you know, the traditional way of doing that is by placing links on your social media posts, whether paid or organic. You might have also shared your link to your email list through a newsletter. Potential listeners can then click on those links to access your materials on different platforms, like your website, YouTube, or various music streaming services. But here's the problem with links. It's hard to keep track of them. They're not necessarily easy to organize once you try to save them in a list or a bookmark for later use. Luckily, you don't have to go for links, at least not all the time. Instead, why not use an audio QR code to take your audience to your audio materials? They're convenient and easy to set up. Audio QR codes help creators fill the online offline gap by getting their listeners to access their materials with a quick, simple scan. You can eliminate manual search for your materials, minimizing any hassle for your potential audience. And it's also a great tool for marketing and promotions. Wondering what you can do with an audio QR code? Or maybe you'd like to know how to create one? Stay tuned, because this video is totally for you. First things first. So what exactly is an audio QR code? Well, it's a type of QR code linked to an audio file, an audio page, or an artist page on a streaming app. When scanned, the potential listener gets easy access to your audio content. Here's one notable example. Travis Scott, also known as the music industry's unofficial king of brand deals and promotional stunts, just released his next single, Escape Plan. Well, it kind of went out on a very high note. During his performance at the Rolling Loud Music Festival, hundreds of drones flocked the sky, forming a shape of a QR code that directed concert goers to his new song on Spotify. Now that's an incredible way to gather attention for a song release. With an audio QR code, you can easily share your music from Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube Music, or iTunes. You can also link raw audio files that will play on a smartphone without using a third-party app. Video and audio content are two of the most widely used formats for consuming information. And from what we see, audio content will only increase in terms of usage over time. You can use an audio QR code for more than just promoting your song or podcast. Here are some awesome and practical use case examples for an audio QR code. Sharing audiobooks. You can share audiobooks with your listeners on various platforms using a QR code. Simply link your audiobook file into one of them. You can easily create one using Beacon Stacks Generator. You can also link that QR code to your audiobook on Kindle or Audible to promote a quick conversion. Embed this QR code on your print materials, OOH advertisements, newsletters, and your various social media networks to drive reach and engagements. Audio QR codes not only serve as tools for easy content sharing, they also help you out in scaling your marketing efforts. An audio QR code is dynamic by nature, which means labels, artists, and creators can track, scan data, and analyze them to optimize marketing campaigns. Providing tours. Popular tourist destinations, museums, and art galleries are no stranger to leveraging QR codes to share virtual tours and additional resources. And that's especially true with the onset of the recent pandemic. You can use an audio QR code as a tool to share voiceover guides and trivia about a particular art piece, display, or landmark. Upon scanning, visitors get redirected to a vast audio resource sharing stories and valuable information. What's more, you can access these resources wherever you are, even if you're not on location. Audio QR codes are convenient, cost-effective, and highly informative, which is why tour agencies are more than happy to use them. Distributing educational materials. Tech startup Restore Privacy uses audio QR codes to provide cybersecurity advice to its clients, which, as you might have guessed, drives a better customer experience. You can use an audio QR code to share educational or instructional materials with customers. Technical products and services typically have an elaborated troubleshooting process. Thankfully, they can make it easier by sharing simple, easy to understand audio instructions, but customers can access at any point. Schools and libraries also use audio QR codes extensively. Students and library members can easily access audiobooks with a simple QR code scan. Teachers can also convert a lesson into an audio file, upload it online, and use the link to create an audio QR code. Now it's only a matter of sharing that QR code with students. Now, those are some useful applications if you ask me. They make it convenient for a particular audience to access the audio content you've worked so hard to create you get to drive easy engagements and conversions. And all you have to do is create one or a couple of dynamic QR codes. 
at Beaconstack, we recommend using dynamic QR codes because they allow for unlimited edits and updates. You also get more customization options, data tracking, and automatic bulk QR code creation. Creating an audio QR code is an easy thing to do. Let's go over the process. Step one, go to Beaconstack's dashboard. You'll need to navigate and click the QR code section on the left, then hit create QR code in the upper right corner of your screen. Step two, choose MP3 option. Now, Beaconstack has all the functionalities you'll need for any campaign. You can link a QR code to a website, your vCard, a location, and more. For this scenario, we're going to choose the MP3 option since we want an audio QR code. Step three, enter your audio link or upload a raw audio file. There are two ways you can link an audio file to a QR code. You can upload a raw audio file like an MP3 and have your scanners listen to it on their iPhone. You can also enter a URL that links to your material on Spotify, YouTube Music, or SoundCloud. Once you have that covered, it's time to move on to step four. Customize, customize, customize. As a creator, you definitely don't want a bland looking QR code littered around your marketing pieces. It's a good thing Beaconstack lets you personalize your codes to help them stick out. You can choose from a wide range of aesthetic customization options from frames, templates, colors, logo uploads, and more. And don't forget to add a solid call to action. Step five, test, save, and download. Once you're happy with your design, it's now only a matter of testing, saving, then downloading your audio QR code. Make sure to test it out if it's linking to the right URL. After that, you can begin downloading. Your QR code is now ready to attract eyeballs. Creating a QR code is easy. And as you've seen, all it took was five simple steps. Once you've created one, you're open to vast use case scenarios that help gather more audience to appreciate your work or learn from your expertise. Overall, audio QR codes add a ton of value to particular experiences, either online or off. Now I'm curious, do you know of any other fancy ways to use audio QR codes? Why don't you share them in the comments below? If you want to stay in the loop about all things QR code has to offer, make sure you're subscribed to our channel with the notifications turned on. Start creating your audio QR codes by signing up for Beaconstack's 14-day free trial. The link is down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.